What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about a film called Nickel Boys. Directed by Ramel Ross who wrote this film alongside Jocelyn Barnes. This film is based on a novel by Colson Whitehead and stars people like Ethan Harris, Brandon Wilson, Hamish Linklater and more. So here we are talking about Nickel Boys, a film that I actually almost had the chance to check out a few weeks ago, but if you guys have been following the channel, you know that I unfortunately had to miss a couple of screenings due to Hurricane Milton that came through here, which ended up getting this screening postponed. But either way, I'm still getting to check this out quite a bit ahead of its release when it actually is going to be hitting theaters in a limited theatrical release starting in December, thanks to Amazon. Now, since August, this film has started to premiere at various film festivals, and there was a lot of really positive buzz. If you go on places like Letterboxd, you'll see that majority of the reviews skew far more positive and it seemed like one of those small indie films that was coming out of the film festival circuit that was going to be one of those to look out for and so going into it though i knew nothing really about it other than the fact that it's based on a novel by colson whitehead that actually won the pulitzer prize it's supposedly based on true events to some degree as well what i will say is i don't necessarily know anything about that novel nor do i know what the true events are so this review is solely from the perspective of a film fan and whether or not i enjoyed it and whether or not I feel you guys should get into it. But before we get into my opinion on the film, I do want to mention that this was a film I felt I needed to sleep on. I saw the film yesterday and I've spent a few hours into today as well, writing some notes and just taking some time to kind of ponder my thoughts on the film because I do think that this is a film that's going to work for some people, but it's definitely not going to work for everybody. And I found myself kind of torn in the middle. Before we get into my opinion on the film, let's talk about what this film is all about, let's talk about the technical aspects, and then we'll get into my personal taste and where this movie kind of sits for me. The movie takes us back to the era of time around the civil rights movement. While this movie doesn't necessarily focus on the civil rights movement itself, it's very much clear that that's what's going on around the story that we're following here. The movie primarily focuses on two young African-American men who have been sent to a reform school known as Nickel Academy. And what we get to do over the course of this film is truly live the story through their eyes. It's two young men who create this friendship inside of this reform school and they're living in a world that's still heavily segregated and still filled with tons of prejudice. And something that makes this film incredibly unique is that the film is given a POV standpoint, meaning that majority of the film is shot in first person with there being a small handful of moments where the camera is right over their shoulders, giving us a little bit more of a third person kind of a vibe to it. And this movie isn't really kind of in any ways conventional at all. The movie comes from a director known as Ramel Ross, who is known and has accolades in the world of documentary. That's mostly what he does, and I believe this might be his first narrative-based picture. And I could definitely see that now knowing that information after having seen the film, because it very much feels like a narrative-based film that's coming from the mind of a documentarian in the way that this film is put together. Add in the more artistic approach and very unique approach of giving it a POV perspective, and what you have here is a very interestingly, artistically well-put-together film. When it comes down to the overall technical aspects of the film, number one, it's a period piece. So you want to make sure that the hair, the wardrobe, the, the locations that are used, the vehicles, and everything about the way that the film looks and feels like in terms of also the dialogue, you want to make sure that that all feels authentic. And I think for the most part, this film does an incredible job of taking you back to that time and very much feeling like all of these characters and everything you're seeing is from this time. So on that level, I thought it was really, really well done. When it comes down to the cinematography, doing a first person perspective and following the eyes of a character throughout the course of the film is not necessarily always an easy thing to do, especially since the actors who are playing off of that character oftentimes have to act off of a camera specifically to try to connect with the character that they're speaking to who we're seeing the movie through. And I think for the most part, this film really captures that very well. That POV perspective is handled very well. And I think for the most part, the overall cinematography of the film is really solid. Add in some really solid sound effects and some sound design in general, a really cool musical score that plays in moments that really add to certain things, and performances that ultimately feel incredibly realistic and very tangible and very much feel like real people. And overall, you have a very realistic and unique feeling film that has its own artsy approach. The aspect ratio over the course of the film is changing at times, most of it being in that classic, I believe, 4-3 aspect ratio. The film, for the most part, is, again, really well shot and the editing is really crisp and unique and so when it comes down to how this film was made I was impressed I found myself really enjoying the artistic approach to telling this story 
However, as I've talked about on this channel many times before, the thing I want more than anything in a film is characters and a story that I can latch onto. I can watch a film that doesn't have the greatest kind of special effects or cinematography or filmmaking as long as it has something to latch onto when it comes down to the characters. That's how we can live on and on and on and go back to films that we grew up on that maybe aren't as technically sound, but still find ourselves enjoying the characters, the story, or the music that was able to kind of take us through those journeys. In the case of Nickel Boys, I found myself incredibly torn on the film, and I had to sleep on it to kind of see how I felt on it moving on to the next day because I found this film to be something that I found to be incredibly admirable. It tackles some pretty heavy subject matter when it comes down to prejudice and racism at a certain time. And being able to be put into the shoes of young African American men in a very prejudiced time where you got to kind of experience those stares that they would get or the way that they're belittled or talked down against or, or the way that they're separated from the whites. How the whites can go and do something that, you know, the black individuals would also like to be a part of. Maybe like going to play football and they just kind of have to sit there and watch the group of white kids go to play. And because they're black, they don't get to play. And so the movie puts you in that sh those shoes and, and really allows you to kind of feel that segregation, to feel that prejudice, to feel the, the, the sadness that a lot of that was, you know, and, and the hatred that was coming from so many people who were just wanted to belittle others simply because of the color of their skin. And the fact that that dictated everything and how that dictates things around these characters' lives, I think that this film does a good job of putting you in those shoes and making you feel some pretty heavy things. But with all that said, I found myself struggling with this film because if I'm completely honest and I just move out of this more professional approach about talking about films, I found this film to be a drag to get through and honestly, if I'm just getting straight to the nitty gritty, I found this to be a pretty boring film. I found the film to be artistically made, very well acted, I thought that the themes that it's covering are very, very relevant and there are some things there that are very interestingly handled i think that this is a film that many will love it's very artistic it's a very unique and it feels like the kind of movie that some people are going to love and think this movie is great and others are just going to be like I, I don't know and i found myself somewhere in the middle because where i found myself was i was impressed by so much of it and there was so much about this film that i think is is worthy of your time but it's also a film that I genuinely can say I never have any interest in watching again. And there are films that have heavy subject matter that are tell very heart-wrenching stories and take us to a time before now that is a lot darker and when things were a lot more different. And while those films aren't necessarily the most fun bubblegum kind of films that you want to put on often, there are plenty of those that I would rewatch when the time is right or because I'd want to be a part of that story once again. And in the case of Nickel Boys, while I was impressed with so much and I appreciated so much of what this film was trying to say, I think that the film's POV perspective oftentimes held it back from feeling like a story you could really connect to. I mentioned before that I think that it almost makes sense that I learned that a documentarian was the one who you know, directed this film because the film is jumping around to different events over the course in the film in such a way that it never really felt like I was following a story. It just felt like I was seeing snippets of these characters' lives and with it being so slow at times, with it kind of feeling like a boring drag at times, while I appreciated so much about it, by the time I got to the latter half of the film, I was just like, I don't know that I really care about these characters. It's not that I don't care about what's happening, it's not that I don't care about what the film is trying to say, but in terms of me watching a piece of art and connecting to the characters that we're connecting to here, I don't know that the film is structured in a way that ever really made me want to revisit this or, or even really tell other people to go watch this. I think there are films that tackle similar subject matter that I would go to a people and say, hey, go watch this instead over Nickel Boys. I do think Nickel Boys has a lot of merits. I do think it's a film that is going to be interestingly discussed. And I can totally see that some of you guys will probably watch this video and heavily disagree with me. And, and I, I honestly invite it. I really invite the people who love this film to leave comments down below and let me and others in the comments know why this film really connected with you. But for me, I just ultimately found it to be something I could never really connect to. And I talked to some of the other critics that I saw this film with after the movie was over, and it seemed like it was a pretty interesting consensus for the most part. There were some people who really enjoyed it, but they admitted that this kind of film is their kind of film. This really artistic, different kind of structured narrative that feels more impressionistic and feels super artistic, but less so something that is more streamlined or something that has like a conventional narrative that you could connect to. And I want to make it clear that there are plenty of films that don't have conventional narratives that are artistic and different that I do enjoy. But the thing I always look for in any film is character and story. Again, I can look past 
filmmaking that isn't top tier for character and story that I'm able to connect to. And in the case of this movie, there were moments where I really connected to what was going on. There were moments that piqued my interest, but there was so much of this film that genuinely felt like a bore, like a snooze fest, that I felt like it did the film's messaging a disservice at times, and it ultimately pulled me as a viewer out of the film. So it really left me in a weird place. It left me in a place of admiration, a place of appreciation for this film, more so than in a place of enjoyment of this film. It's a film that I can say a lot of good about, but a film that I ultimately recognize I really didn't connect with and I could never see myself watching ever ever again. So as you can tell, I'm incredibly conflicted on Nickel Boys, but I think this is going to be a film that's going to create some interesting dynamics. I like when I can see a film that challenges me, a film that I can flat out say I love or a film that I can flat out say I don't love. You know, those are fun too. But sometimes it's nice to have a movie where you're really torn down the middle, where you were impressed by so much of the movie and you want to say you liked it or you loved it, but there's a part of you that just didn't like it or did not love it. And in the case of Nickel Boys, that's exactly where I find myself. When some people tell me that they love this film in the future, I think I'll understand it. And when some people tell me that they think this movie is a snooze fest and that they didn't like it, I think I'll understand it. And if somebody tells me that they found themselves right in the middle like me, I'll 110% understand it. This is a very well-made film in so many ways but it's a film that I don't really think has the strength narratively to really have any sort of long lasting legs. But it is a film that I think is worth watching if you're looking for something unique in the year of 2024. So that's gonna be my thoughts on Nickel Boys. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought about the movie. Did you like this movie? Did you not like this movie? Whatever the case may be, I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Bye bye